What's up YouTube? It's your boy EVscape back with another video and today we're going to be going over all of the requirements and items required and the quests required to do easy clue scrolls. Everything you're going to need, all the skills, all the items, all the quests. Uh, the original plan for this video was to go over all of the items, the quests, etc. and then show you how to do each individual step. However, going over each individual step, there is like a hundred of them. And I feel like I can't fit everything into one video. I feel like just showing where every single step is, is going to be 20 minutes in and of, itself, in and of itself. So uh, if you guys want to see that video, let me know in the comments. I'm only going to be going over the requirements and items today. So if you want to see how to do every every last step, let me know. I will endeavor to get that done. But like I said, I didn't want to make a 20 minute video today. This is probably just going to be a quick five minute short thing. And uh, we'll see how we go. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the clips now. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, you know, if you enjoy all of my videos, make sure you watch all of my videos. So uh if you enjoy all of my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button. We put out a new video every single Monday, or Wednesday, and Friday. So uh, let's stop messing around. Let's jump into it. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to be going over today is the skill requirements. Now, because these are easy clue scrolls, they don't have very high skill requirements at all. You're going to need 20 attack and 10 defense. The 20 attack is to wield the mithril pickaxe, which is required by a clue. And the 10 defense is to wield the black plate body. So these are only two clues out of the uh, somewhere around 100 different clues you can get that you need 20 attack and 10 defense for. Uh, other than that, you're going to need around 10 attack and 5 defense. So if you guys are looking to do some clue scrolls and you don't want to get 10 defense or 20 attack, then it's only two things that you won't be able to do. So... Uh, it's not it's not a super high requirement. It's not absolutely 100% necessary to complete a clue scroll. But yeah, for every single clue scroll is 20 attack and 10 defense. Now, as for the quests, the only quest you need to complete is Priest in Peril. There was a lot of things that I wasn't sure about in the uh, quest requirements. So I actually ran around the game because I haven't done any quests. I ran around the game to make sure that you don't need a quest to get in there. The only one is a single clue scroll that requires you to go to Canifus. So if you don't want to do any quests at all, there's only one, one thing out of all of them that requires you to do a single quest. So if you don't want to do a single quest, you don't really need to because it's only one thing. You can just drop it every time you get it, one in 80 times or whatever it is. Now, as for the items required, these are for the emote clues, the ones where you're going to get a do said emote while wearing said thing in said place. The You're going to need some items for that. What I actually did, I went ahead and bought every single item you could possibly need. Uh, this took me probably 15 minutes and cost me 36,896 GP. So really, really cheap to get every single item you need for the clue scrolls. I'll go through them now. You need a green, pink, a blue, a cream robe top, as well as a wizard robe top. You also need uh, green bottoms, pink skirt, and a ham robe, as well as the tur turquoise robe bottoms. You need a green hat, green boots, ham boots, Myth pickaxe, a black plate body, a black axe. Then you need a steel, full helm, plate body, plate legs, axe, med, steel mace, and longsword, as well as a pickaxe. You also need an iron, full helm, plate body, plate legs, plate skirt, kite shield, med helm, chain body, scimitar, warhammer, and dagger. Then you need a bronze, full helm, chain body, plate legs, axe, two-hander, you need a coif, a leather cowl, a leather body, a studded body, leather chaps, studded chaps, oak longbow, normal longbow, you need an oak short bow, a staff of water, a normal staff, sapphire necklace, gold necklace, sapphire amulet, emerald amulet, sapphire ring, emerald ring, ruby ring, gold ring, then you need a body tiara, an air tiara, a normal tiara, a white apron, a black cape, and then 
for the digging clues, you're going to need a spade. So that's every single item you could possibly need. I'll chuck all the items up on screen now. If you guys are planning on doing a bunch of clue scrolls, you can just go ahead and pause the video, buy them all out. So up on screen now, but yeah, everything you could possibly need for an easy clue scroll is only going to cost you 30, around 37k, so 36,900. So relatively cheap to get everything. Now there are three types of clues you can get through a clue scroll. These are emote clues, cryptic clues, and maps. And like I said in the intro, if you guys want me to go over each one individually, let me know in the comments section below. Next, I want to go over some useful items that are going to help you when doing easy clue scrolls. You're definitely going to need teleports all over Gilinor. There is an easy clue scroll step uh, in uh, Doyen. There is an easy clue scroll step in Varrock, Edgeville, uh, Felidor, the Great Corrand, like all over Gilinor, you're going to need a lot of teleports. I Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you. There's too many to go over. <laughs> Just get teleports everywhere, get a teleport to the dig site, get a games necklace. Just be prepared to uh, to do a lot of running if you don't have teleports, but teleports are gonna be super, super handy. And lastly, I'm gonna go over the easiest and best way to get easy clue scrolls, and that has to be pickpocketing ham members. You have a one in 50 chance of getting an easy clue scroll from pickpocketing a ham member. So it's by far the best way to go about it. This is gonna require you to have 15 thieving for the female members or 20 thieving for the male members. Now, other than thieving the ham members, the next best thing to do is to kill thugs inside the Edgeville dungeon. These have a drop rate of one in 128. So if you don't wanna get your thieving up to 15 or 20, then the best place to do it is in the Edgeville dungeon. Now, the last thing that I want to mention here is that I know a lot of people do clue scrolls for fun, but what you have to keep in mind is an easy clue scroll is only going to net you an average reward of 5,000 coins. So a very, very low reward. And uh, even if you can do 60 of them in one hour, that's still 300K an hour. So it's not a huge amount per hour for GP, but I know a lot of people do their clue scrolls for fun. So if you guys enjoy it, keep going ahead and doing them, but don't expect to be getting a crazy amount of GP as a reward. So there you have it guys, everything you need to know about the requirements to do all of the easy clue scroll steps you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for a new video every monday wednesday and friday like i said in the intro and the middle if you guys want me to go over every single step in a video let me know in the comments i'll be more than happy to do that just keep in mind it will be like a 20 minute video so it might be a little bit tedious but uh, yeah, I just realized that I'm in a PvP world, sitting in a PvP zone. That would have been quite silly. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you also want to see me do this for the uh, medium, hard, elite, and master clue scrolls, also let me know in the comments. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video on Monday. Take it easy.